What's up everyone, Chris from Full Steam Designs. So a few weeks ago we tested the Longer Ray 5, which turned out to be a great budget-friendly laser, but at only 5 watts it felt a little underpowered at some times. They've come up with a solution for that, and it's this new 10 watt laser module. So today we're going to be testing this out, and make sure you stick around for the whole video because you don't want to miss your chance to win a complete Ray 5 with this new module on it. Before we get cutting, I just want to go over some of the features that make this machine stand out from many of the other laser engravers available today. This touchscreen actually allows you to control the machine without hooking it up to a computer. Much like a 3D printer, you can save your files right to an SD card. Anything you've saved to your card will show up on the sculpture screen. In addition to hooking this up directly to your computer or using an SD card, you can also connect via Wi-Fi or use their app to control it. I use Lightburn to run mine, which is a paid program that's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. There's also a free alternative called Laser Gerbil, but that can't be used with a Mac. The Ray 5 features a super tight beam that's only 0.6 millimeters squared. This will give you super fine detailed engravings and keep the kerf of your cut really small. I'm just going to start with a quick engraving comparison. I'm starting with the 5 watt laser unit at a feed rate of 200 inch per minute at 100% power. This image has some pretty fine lines for the background. There's just a couple screws that you need to remove to swap to the 10 watt laser. To make focusing easy, they provide you with a setup block. The shorter one is for the 5 watt. You just put it under this little notch and lower the laser until it touches the bracket. For the next test, I just doubled the feed rate. This might have been a little too fast though as it did lose some of the finer details. I'd probably recommend running the machine at around 300 inch per minute for engraving and adjust from there. These settings will have to be changed based on the material. What I really wanted to see was how this new laser module would perform while cutting. I'm using quarter inch plywood for this test. While it did do a fine job of cutting at 5 inches per minute, it actually seemed to be a little too slow. Because of this, it's getting a lot of burning. To fix this, I doubled the feed rate and had the laser make two passes. This resulted in a much cleaner cut. The letters just fall right out. The kerf is so small that the pieces fit together like a puzzle. Quarter inch plywood proved to be pretty easy, so I wanted to push this machine a little. I threw in a piece of 3 8 inch thick solid walnut. I found that at 10 inches per minute, I could cut through this in 5 or 6 passes. Even with thick material like this, the cuts came out super clean. The 5 watt laser is capable of marking stainless steel, but I found that I had to run the machine pretty slow and use marking compounds to get the design to be very clear. This was no problem for the 10 watt, however. It left a nice dark image that won't scratch off. And of course, this is just a little taste of what this machine can do. It has a 400 by 400 millimeter or 15.75 by 15.75 inch workspace. It can engrave and cut things like wood, acrylic, leather, and many others. This is a great machine for someone just getting started and can turn into a great tool for making some extra money on the side. I'll put links in the description for anyone looking to learn more about it. All right, thanks for watching. If you guys have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Also, that's going to be how you enter this contest. I know you've all been waiting around to hear this. All you need to do to enter is comment below with what you would do if you won one of these 10 watt longer Ray 5s. And there's going to be a list of all of the rules and everything in the description. Make sure you check all that stuff out. It'll go over uh, who's eligible to win, you know, what you need to do to win. Um, how I'll contact you, you know, et cetera, to go over everything. So make sure you check all that stuff out and a big thank you to Longer for doing this giveaway. Until next time, I'll see everybody over on one of these other videos.